Hello guys and welcome back to my FG of Valentine's 2024 gameplay. So yeah, I will be completing this story today. I think this is the section, this is section 7 and then we have the epilogue. So I probably will be able to complete it today. So let's begin. And uh, yes, let's see how this concludes. <clears throat> Field designation. The clock tower, the de facto headquarters of the entire Magecraft world, uses that label for you. One given to a single gifted individual only once per generation. That mage will then be preserved. Field forever. Wait, what? Field designation. Okay. Whether they want to be or not. The hunters who do that are known as enforcers. Sometimes I wonder, as Brazette Fragra McRimmits, a designed, a sealed designation enforcer, how many mages have I hunted? No, not only mages. How many innocent people did I kill in cold blood simply to accomplish my missions? They must have all had dreams they were chasing, futures ahead of them. Most of them probably had families they cared about too, and I ripped everything away from them. That's why I don't understand. How could someone like me, who only knows how to take, yeah, how can she be chosen by Mananan, who is someone who gives? Be chosen as the vessel for Mananan, a god famed for giving. Then again, at this point, who cares? It doesn't matter anymore. You're wrong. That's not too bad, that Fragra McRimmits. Okay. Manan and McClear. You can't save everyone just by giving. Sometimes we need to take away their grief, fate all, fate, all manner of obstacles. But there's something else, Bazette. When the Holy Grail gave you life and tossed you out into the world all alone, you made friends with the locals and fought alongside trusted companions to achieve a common goal. Surely this must have helped you realize that there's more to you than simply taking things away from people. You think so? I still don't know. But if you were right, that would be wonderful. Either way, it doesn't matter now, it's too late. I'm a fake, an imposter, I, the only thing I can do now is disappear. You're not going to disappear, after all. Okay. Mananan, what are you? Along this journey, you found love, kindness, and a reason to fight. And so I'm going to take energy, everything that makes me who I am, my spirit core, my spirit origin, and give it all to you. What? Wait, if you do that, what will happen to you? Yeah. At the moment, I'm a combination of both Mananan, the divine spirit, and Bazet, her vessel. Yeah, so I was wondering if he, if he gives it. A, so will she become completely Bazet? Okay, but if I make you my new vessel once again and reconstruct my pseudo servant form, I'm sure I'll ultimately be a different person. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is confusing. So she's saying that she's going to make her her new vessel again and reconstruct her pseudo servant form. That would mean the Manana that is here now won't be. Okay, it won't be the same. Okay, I see. I won't be able to retain my memories from this small journey if I return to the throne of it. Oh, I see. I, okay, I see. I, I think I understand. So I want you to remember them for me. Mananan, I... Are you sure that's really the right thing to do here? Yes, I believe it is. I think this is what Mananan McClair needs to become a complete, fully realized servant. And so, I entrust all of Mananan to you, Bazet Fragra McRimmits. All I ask for you is to allow Mananan to remain in your heart, right alongside who you are, and continue on ever forward. And finally, when all else is said and done, my greatest wish is for you and that master to bestow light upon this world together. Okay. Alright, here we go. Take this. 
Gustus Morum, Garris of the Medusa. Did we do it? We hit it with both our noble phantasms at the same time. Was that still not enough? Probably wasn't, yeah. Ah. Garen, they need help. <laughs> yeah, well. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I don't have much magical energy left either. Yeah, she literally fought Mananan, if you remember. In retrospect, transforming into Super Baby Karen without a Holy Grail may not have been the best idea. Oh, wow. Do I ever want, even want to know? Medusa, are you okay? I'm fine, this is nothing. Although, my magical energy levels are almost depleted from fighting all these monsters. <laughs> yeah, things aren't looking good for us. Huh? Oh, there we go. Bazaar is coming out. Yes. Oh? Is that? Yeah, there she is. Oh, wait. Yeah, there you go. Oh, this is her second... Yeah, her second ascension. I'm here now, everyone. Sorry I'm too late. But that no wait, is that Mananan's magical energy? Who which one are you? Sorry, I word you, Medusa. I am the same Bazette Fragar Macrimics you all know, yeah. But you're Bazette, then what happened to Mananan? She's still there, you know. Right now, I am an ordinary human who has come to possess the power of Mananan, the divine spirit. I am the one who gives all and takes all. I'm the pseudo servant Mananan McClear, God of the Sea. Okay. I see, so her job is over. That Bazette is now. Who hooled? I, Bazette, was terrified of you. No, that's not right. I was terrified of seeing you again. Yeah, exactly. When servants return to the throne, their memories are only preserved as records. That means you've forgotten about me and everything we shared. I didn't think I could ever bear to face you again, but I'm not running from you anymore. I, Mananan, will use this fist to rip out my weakness and throw it away. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't, isn't that a roommate? I guess it makes sense because she, you know, she was Kuhulin's master. <clears throat> Aunt... what? Aunt Gavala. Now, there's no turning back. Any warrior who draws that formation can no longer flee in defeat, and any warrior who sees it cannot retreat. It is a solemn oath, signifying a warrior's unwavering spirit and determination to claim victory. If you really are Kuhulin, then you know exactly what this room means. If you are Brahma Tree who seeks revenge upon humans, let us settle this matter once and for all. Will you grudge me enough to pierce me, or will I take your honor as mine? This battle will be decided with a single blow. <laughs> Alright, oh he can talk, I guess. I don't know what you've got against me and I don't care. But if it's a fight to the death you want, I'm game. Bring it on, red branch sprout. Okay, let's bring it on then. Hmm. Oh, wait, so, okay. Right, um, let me... Oh, you know what? Let me ch change this. Can I? How do I? Wait a minute. Yeah, now I can change. Yeah, I guess this is fine. Double the Z. I don't know if this will be a difficult battle. I might have to change my team if it's a difficult battle, but we'll see. I just like randomly like, oh yeah, this is going to be a big battle, isn't it? Right, I should have brought in a 414. Oh, I cannot change her order as well. I, I guess, you know, it's fine. Wait, isn't this, um, oh my god, I, I hope this isn't copyright protected, I'll have to mute this whole section then. 
This is um, Hall Ataraxia's theme. Oh, I'll have to mute it if it's copyrighted. Good God. Right. Hopefully it isn't. Okay, let's do it then. Alright, so here we have... There we go. Oh. Alright. Okay. Right, here we go. Ooh, beautiful. Okay. Hi. Wait, okay, let me do this. Hi. Yes. Oh my god, the chance is eight. Okay. So, let me use her power again. Come on. Ah, oh, okay. The fact, the reason why she hits so hard is because her MP level is 5. Good god. Oh no, here we go. Ooh, this is bad. No, this isn't bad. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to... No, okay, wait a minute. Who Hulin is, um... A single target, isn't he? Okay, then uh, then this is easy. Um, I can literally do this. Wait a minute. Um... God damn it, that's the one that he decided to evade. Oh. Okay, here we go. Bazinan counter. <laughs> Buzzard and Mananan, I'm guessing Bazinan. <laughs> okay, I, I can just end it like this. There you go. Alright, that was easy. Nice. It's over, you're out of here. Kuruid, heed my call, answer her. Go ahead. Okay, I, I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. Sword of Reverse Light. Pragara Aumba. Okay, here we go. Yep, the ultimate. Oh, that sound effect was quite cool. Oh, is he gone? It's probably just. Flattered on the ground. Yep. She did it. Her noble phantasm pierced the trunk of the Theobroma tree. Look, it's starting to disappear. Kuhulin. No, Theobroma. Thank you. Thank you for letting me see Kuhulin once again. Well, you can see him again if you go to Kaldia. May your soul rest in peace. These humans. No. We humans may never stop being fools, but I still hope we can live in peace together until this planet finds uh, the answer it seeks.
Wait, was Google Ninja smiling right now? You know, I'm not sure myself. I hope he was though. Well, putting all that aside. Oh, did we get the grail? Yup. My holy grail has returned to me safe and sound. My holy grail? Yeah. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Confiscating it, obviously. Yeah. You've proven beyond a shadow of doubt that nothing good can come of you having a holy grail. This grail is going back to Kaldia, where they're going to put it to good use. I swear. You just can't help but make trouble for everyone around you, can you? Can Hortensia? Oh yeah, this, I guess this is the first time he, like, Bazette is actually seeing her in Kal here, you know, in, in this form. Oh right, I forgot the paper bag. But you know, Bazette, you're really too uptight. Even servants need a bit of spice in their lives now and then, right? Yeah, this is your, you know, this is your, um, what's that word? Um, this is what spice is to you, this, this whole shenanigan that happened. Oh, Karen, you could be such a good preacher if you just act upon <laughs> Maybe you should take a page from Father Kire's book and learn to be less, little less selfish. Oh, boy. <laughs> I think you and I have a very different impressions of him. We should have tea and catch up once we get back to Galia. I still don't understand your relationship very well. But if you're going to have a tea party, then I insist on joining. Oh, I'd like to attend too. I still have questions for Bazette. Do you mind if I come? I can introduce you to my sisters too. Galia. Unfortunately, once this minor singularity is repaired, I expect... I'll be disappear. I'll disappear along with it. I hate to say goodbye to you all like this, but nah, we can summon you back, you know. Oh, I think all that muscle in your head has made you forget something important. Oh yeah, that is true. I, I just forgot about I also forgot about that. Yeah, she was technically summoned first. Don't you remember Mananan? You technically came to came here from Kaldia. Yeah. She forgot about that. Ah, right, that's true. This did all begin when Manana was summoned in Kaldia, didn't it? I should warn you, I'm still not used to Manana's power. But if that's okay with you, of course, you're more than welcome. Glad to have you with us, Bazette. <laughs> now that's settled, I have even more uh, even more good news for you. You can see the real Kuhulin once you... Yeah, that is true. Get to Kaldia. And like I said, there's not one, there's not two, there's probably three. Three, isn't it? Yeah, prototype and uh, normal Kuhulin and um, Kuhulin Berserker, and then obviously later on more Kuhulins will come. So, like Satanta is going to come. <laughs> I think there are four of them. Right? Wait, four. wait, am I missing someone? Prototype, Lancer. Oh, cast! I always forget about him. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, four? Yeah, four. Then, okay, yeah, there you go. I always forget about Caster. Oh, God. Yeah, there's four of them, true. I wonder which one you knew. Four of them? <laughs> well, that's FGO for you. <laughs> ha, hang on, I need a moment to take this all in. I know I was talking all big with your Bromatry, but I'm not actually sure how I should act when I see him again. Maybe I should resume my journey and take more time soul searching. I think you're forgetting something else. Let's go back to town for now. I think I know just the gift for you. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. <clears throat> so, that was that. Now we are going to the epilogue, I think. Yep, epilogue, a souvenir for you. Hmm. Yep, we're here in Kalia. Oh, there she is! Yo, Semirin! <laughs> Over here, Semirin. Semirin? Ah, I'm so sorry, Lady Semiramis. I do hope you can forgive her rudeness. Why are you apologizing for her? Ah, no matter. 
I assume you have not stopped me for something trifle. Wait, Samira Wings was the first Valentine servant, wasn't she? As far as I can remember. Yeah. The very first one, I think, as far as I can remember. Haha, <laughs> no way you That's it. Oh god. Here, it's not much, but I hope you like it anyway. <laughs> what did I just say? Huh? Uh, if I may say, say, if I may say, uh, what? Saying a gift isn't much, it's a way of being humble where we come from. She does not mean it literally. Oh. <laughs> that is true. You know, like, uh, like, I guess, like, this is not much, but here you go. Kind of like that. It's like a nice way of saying that. Oh, you know what? Nothing that much, but I made something for you. Hmm. So, she, I guess this is Semiramis, so she probably took it literally. Hmm. Is that part of that Wabi Sabi culture of yours? That is still much I do not understand about your customs. Alright, let's see what we have here. Chocolate? Yep, cause it's Valentine's Day. We made them with lots of love and gratitude. Now we are handing them out to everyone at Kalia. The only reason we are able to celebrate Valentine's Day once again is because we have all worked together to overcome many hardships. So, if it pleases you, I do hope you will accept it. Hmm, alright, I accept. I see, so it's Valentine's Day again, huh? <laughs> you too enjoy it all you like. I myself had, have had enough, more than enough Valentine's excitement to last the materialization. Yeah, she, like I said, I think she, she was the first one. So, she literally had like six of them. Six Valentine's events she was there. Six years. <laughs> I mean, she says that. But I bet she's working on some super special chocolate for her day. <laughs> what do you think, Kaoruchi? I would prefer not to comment. Hey, I can hear you, you know. One more word and you won't live to see next year's... Chocolate. Ah! I heard there was free chocolates being handed out. I might... I have a mighty need. Gimme. Here you are, Eggsy. Don't worry, I came fully prepared. You want chocolate, don't you? Do ya? Go ahead, Miss Sweet Tooth. Have three of them. Bruh. Three. Four, please. I'm saving up for emergencies. <laughs> She's like, four. Oh, now that I think of it, Lord Michinaga once said something similar. <laughs> She's eating it now? Hmm, this is dried fruit. And it has an indescribable tang. And this chocolate has nuts. What a comfortable sublime texture. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I honestly cannot tell. You ran? Oh no, wait, was Nero bright the first valentine? I forgot, I'm completely forgetting now. Is, was Nero bright the first valentine? Day servant. And then it was Semiramis, wasn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Oh god, I'm, everything's mixing up in my head. I absolutely did not. Oh ho, you look like you were all having fun. What are you up to? Is there some kind of party today? Oh hello Emperor Nero, thank you so much for coming. Hey, now that you're here, you're gonna have to take this bad boy back with you. Eat this, Nerochi. Happy Valentine's Day. Ah! Nagiko, is this Valentine's Day chocolate? Well, yeah, I stuffed it with bust it bursting with love. Ah, I see. I knew it. Such courage. Even my dress gave you no cause for hesitation. But even so. Mm. Oh, to hell with it. What am I? If not a free emperor, I have an abundance of passion to share. Besides, I adore beautiful women. I shall take you all as my brides. <laughs> More your role, emperor. Oh my god. Wow, so all the Valentine's Day characters were literally here. Like Nero, um, Semiramis, um, Alter, uh, what's, uh, Ka uh, um, Chikibu, um, Sei Shonagun, and Bazette is here now. So this is Kaldia. I have to say, it's not quite what I'd imagined. I was picturing somewhere more solemn, I suppose. Yeah, there's so many servants here. In no way is this solemn anymore. It probably was at the very beginning, where we had like a handful of servants. <laughs> it's in three digits now. Like a hall of gruff seasoned warriors bonding over stiff drinks or something. Yeah, what? 
What? This is the difference between called in an emergency as opposed to during a festival. Oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> She's here. So this is the latest addition to the Valentine's roster. Welcome to the team! Hmm, looks like you reeled in quite the catch this year. She might even give me a run for my money. Theo Roman, you followed us here too? No, this isn't Theo Roman. This is Jaguar Man. <laughs> Come on, Medusa Astra. This time we destroy this for good. <laughs> Alright, that's quite enough. There's nothing to worry about here. This animal is harmless. <laughs> That's right, Bazet. She's a good Jaguar warrior. Or at least, if we absolutely have to classify as her as either good or bad, I'd like to think she's good. Yeah, <laughs> damn straight I am. I am Jaguar warrior, friend to good little children everywhere. If you ever need help with anything, new girl, you gotta consult this cat. In fact, now that I look at you, you seem really tense. Is this flight or fight? Fight or flight response? Are you okay? Need a friend to talk to? Oh, uh, no, I'm alright, thank you. This is something I might face on my own. I'm just waiting when Koo Hoolin is going to come. But thank you, I really do appreciate your concern. If I ever do need advice, I'll be sure to seek you out. Oh yeah, you sure? Alright, I don't know what's going on with you, but don't worry, I've got a feeling everything's gonna work out. Alright everyone, enjoy your Valentine's Day. Ciao! A good Jaguar warrior, I had no idea such a thing existed. Come on, never mind that now. The man you're looking for is nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I swear. Does she not know we're looking for him? How inconsiderate. Who knows which woman he's gone off to visit today. Maybe it's time we started keeping him under 24-7 surveillance like a death row inmate. I'm pretty sure he's training or something. Hey! You hear that outrageous stuff she just said? She ain't talking about me, right? Well, I'm fairly certain she isn't talking about me. <laughs> Hello, Master. Ladies, congratulations on another mission complete. Oh, if it isn't Lancer and Kiri Gill, what a coincidence running into you here. Coincidence, huh? Yeah, sure it is. Anyway, congrats on repairing another minor singularity, Master. Looks like you had it pretty rough, like always. From what I heard, that woman who keeps insisting she's an angel messed everything up again this year, yeah? Maybe she's the one we ought to keep under 24-7 surveillance. Wonder if there's any heroic spirits that are the embodiment of Alcatraz or something. Anywho, this new servant you summoned. Well damn, you're a real beauty, aren't ya? <laughs> oh no, he has no idea what he just did. I don't know if he, she can take that kind of intensity. Straight stock, was that? Uh, nice to meet you, Kuhulin. I've been looking forward to meeting Ireland's famous hero of myth, the child of light. It's a pleasure. Oh, so you've heard of me. It ain't the first time that's happened. Uh, but it's still an honor to have a rep precede me. Hope I live up to it. Uh, not to worry, you're exactly how I pictured you. Oh, right. I just happen to have this on me right now. Here, I'd like you to have it as a token of our new friendship. Oh, <laughs> chocolate. Hey, no fair, where's this guy getting all the attention? <coughs> I'd love to get chocolate from a pretty lady too, you know? I'm sorry, that was the only one that came out. Well, <laughs> uh, that is the only one I happen to have on me. Well, damn, this sure is special. I can already tell from the way it's wrapped. Uh, thanks a bunch, red hair. Hey, uh, do I know you from somewhere? Uh, good question. If you have met, I forgot all about it. Ah, gotcha. Guess that's all there is to say then, since I don't remember either. Ah, uh, but you know, for some reason, whenever I look at you, I feel an ache right here. In your chest? No, now I see you're drawing a diagonal line from your chest to your waist. Waist? It looks like a lot like a slash. Wait, uh, oh no, that's different. Slashed? That's, um, how very bizarre. Still, it must be a coincidence since we have only just met. Could it be an old scar acting up? Yeah, coincidence. Well, yeah, I got my share of old wounds, but I don't think that is all that all it is. I mean, just look at how you've got your head tied up. You sure you haven't been thinking about me a ton? Oh, yeah, that's true. I never realized that. She she actually, yeah, she tied it like Kuhulin. <laughs> I'll admit that's quite a coincidence too, but no, of course I wasn't. Really? You sure about that? 
Uh, something just doesn't add up here. Even your smile kind of feels unnatural. Ah, give it a rest already, Lancer. How many times do I have to say I don't remember? That's it. That's the real you. <laughs> oh, damn. I just realized I didn't know your name. So, what do I call you? My name is... Is she going to say Bazette or Manana? Let's see. Ah. Oh, no. What the hell is happening? Wait, is Mananan coming out? Yeah. My name is Mananan McClear, God of the Sea. Uh, long time no see, eh? Kuhulin. Wait, did... Does she know him? Wait a minute. Wait, what? Grandpa Man... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I just forgot. Grandpa Mananan. Why the hell do you look like that now? Wait, wait, wait. Is she... Oh, so she knew him. Like... Actually knew him? Wait a minute. Manan and McClare. Um Like, yeah, like I always say, I read here that um, Warrior of the King of Underworld in Irish and Ma Like, yeah, but I didn't know that she actually knew him. I don't think it'll be written here. Okay, uh, when Kuhul struck his shield, the three wells of uh... Right, I guess she did know him. Hmm. You don't really find anything here, but okay. Um. Oh, you know this person, Kuhulin. Yeah, you could say that. Uh, for some reason, this geezer's been on my case big time for as long as I can remember. I wonder. Just what happened between these two? What I've heard. Mananan raised Kuhulin's father. Oh, there you go. They literally explained it. Kuhulin's father, Liu, the sun god. Okay. Oh, yeah, they, they did kind of explain it, but uh, I, I didn't really understand it. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I'm just remembering. I completely forgot about him. So, yeah, he was like his, um, like, uncle or something. Not uncle, but his, like, like his foster. That whole thing confused me, kind of, in one of the previous uh, videos. I think it was video one, or was it two? Um, yeah, yeah, I did remember now. Okay. Um, right. Which makes him something like his grandfather. But then, again, after Kuhulin had a long-running affair with Mananan's father... Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Kuhulin had a long-running affair with Mananan's wife, who's said to be a woman of unmatched beauty. He drank a potion that made him forget the whole thing. Oh, wow, that's... What? <laughs> what an awful story. Yeah, indeed. Hey, ladies, whatever you're whispering about me, knock the hell off. Damn it, Master, why do you have to go and summon my gramps of all people? Um, uh, Mananan? Oh, hello, Master of Kaldia. I suppose this is the first time I've met you like this, isn't it? Wait, does she remember? No, probably not. <laughs> I, I asked my vessel if she wouldn't mind switching places with me for a bit, and she was kind enough to oblige. Uh, Mananan McClare, the Divine Spirit. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah, she doesn't remember. Uh, yeah, same here. Now then. You obviously haven't changed a bit, Kuhulin. The moment you see a beautiful woman, you still hurry over and try to seduce her. Do I know you from somewhere? Really? That line was even cliche back in our time. No, no, you've got it all wrong. I really did feel like I knew you from somewhere. Well, I tell you what. We've clearly got a lot of catching up to do. So, why don't we take some time to do now? No. No freaking way, bro. Oh hey, welcome back, Fujimaru. Uh, looks like you did a great job repairing the mining singularity and tracking down the rogue servant. Yeah, I guess this was a whole lot to ask of you, wasn't it? Sorry to put it all on your shoulders. Congratulations on a job well done, said Bai. I'm so glad to see you back safe and sound. I still haven't heard the details about this latest singularity, but um, I remember something about a big plant revolution. <laughs> yeah, true. And vicious carnivorous animals. Um, suffice to say, it sounds like it was quite the spectacle. 
I'd love to hear all about it. Oh, but of course, I don't mind waiting until you've re recuperated from the trip. I'm sure you must be exhausted. Oh ho? That does sound super interesting. Now, I really can't wait to read the report. Would you mind writing it up for me now, Fujimaru? Be, be reasonable, Da Vinci. Senpai only just got back from his race ship. Hmm, good point. That's a lot to ask from him, uh, to him, to ask him to do alone. So how about you have Marsh help you get it? <laughs> okay, sounds good. I, uh, oh, what do you? <laughs> Come on, Marsh. Uh, all right, as long as you don't mind, Senpai. Okay, Da Vinci will be back later with the report. Great, go ahead and take your time now, you hear? Hmm. Oh? I, I think I just realized something. Yeah, did, did she forget? Did Da Vinci mean... Marsh? Oh, no, it, it's nothing. Uh, say, why don't I make some tea while we take a little break? And um, to go with it, uh, I made something this year if you'd like to try it. That sounds great. Oh, okay. The sweets are the perfect thing to enjoy when you're tired, right? So here you go. Can't wait to see what you came up with it this time. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's like a basket. Oh, oh, it's very cute. I, um... I was looking forward to making some special Valentine's Day chocolate again this year, uh, but then I realized something. I think I might have been so focused on improving my craft that I forgot to consider how res the recipient would feel when they actually ate it. What? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really professional mindset. So this year, instead of going for maximum visual impact, I tried making something that focuses more on physical condition. Oh, okay. Something even someone who came back exhausted would want to have at least a bite of. Something that would help them feel reju rejuvenated even just a little. That's what I was thinking when I made this. Chocolate mini tarts this year. So, um, what do you think? Would it have been better if I would made something big and spectacular again after all? Be because if so, I've been practicing my candy shaping technique. <laughs> Thanks, Marsh. Hmm. I feel like a new man. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Senpai. I'm so glad you liked it. Now, here. This is for me. S Senpai, are you sure about this? You just got back. You didn't need to tie yourself out even more just for me. Uh, don't worry. I made it back. Before I got back. With help. Before you came back. Oh, so in the singularity. Then does that mean this is Mananan's? It's official sea god brand chocolate. <laughs> and it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Senpai. Um, may I suggest we write about how you made this chocolate in the report too? Yeah. Because I have a feeling it will be a very precious memory for you. <laughs> right. Okay. Wait, did, didn't show Angra Mayu even once? I'm pretty sure that was Angra Mayu uh, in the, um, correct me if I'm wrong, in, the, in the, the chocolate fairy, you know. But they didn't really show him, I guess. Okay. I was expecting at least like a little glimpse of him, like, you know. And there we go. Right. And there we have it. That is the end. Yeah. That is the end of the Valentine's event. Obviously, it's not the end. I will do the chocolate, you know, section. Uh, either tomorrow or the day after. Not really sure when I'll be able to do it. But we still have five. It's five, but tomorrow will be four. So we still have four days. So I'll be able to do it within that. Um, and like I said, I'm not going to be doing everything. I'll just be doing the new characters that I got the previous year. So it won't be that long. So, you know, yeah. Um, hopefully, I, I, I guess I did get quite a few characters. Like if I count the five stars as well, it might actually get long. You know, I'm not really sure. But let's see, you know, hopefully four days are enough um, to make like videos on all of them. 
so yeah um anyways uh, so yeah there you go that was the end of this event and um, so yeah like there we have it uh mananan uh Bazette was able to accept herself was able to accept being the vessel for mananan and after that you know like mananan decided to like like i don't know what she did but from the look like from what i understood so she basically like made like a new contract with her like renewed the contract or something in a way and because she did that he had she had to like you know, after the singularity got dissolved she had to go back to the throne of heroes and gets resummoned back into bazet i'm guessing and obviously if you go back to the throne of heroes um you know your memories will be reset so her memories have been reset and she doesn't remember anything about the valentine's event um and she like like she's like after coming to Caldea, she like remembers nothing about the past so that's what happened as far as i understood correct me if i'm wrong but because Bazette was a human since she traveled from that singularity to here as a human and then i'm guessing mananan got resummoned back somehow she kept all the memories Bazette. however mananan you know she went back and that's why her memories got reset like i said this is what i understood if i'm wrong about anything let me know but either way um yeah and then in the end obviously she met kuhulin and uh, there you go that was how it ended that was nice and uh, yeah let's yeah let's see okay so that was uh, my uh, video my gameplay series on this valentine's event 2024 um so yeah i will continue with the chocolate uh, chocolate thing and uh, yeah let's see what new like you know like obviously these are voice so it'll be very you know like a a interesting to go through all of them i'm really looking forward to like you know like the whole lost well six like characters like morgan and everything that'll be kind of interesting to see you know <laughs> and uh, yeah so there you go thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys not tomorrow, probably the day after with another video on the Valentine's event and it will be the chocolate section. So yeah, see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.